Other news now. Cigarettes, booze, even condoms found in the company's stairwell. Tonight, KK Garen says a San Francisco startup is cracking down on employees caught having a little too much fun on the job. Zenefits connects your separate HR systems into a single dashboard. We've heard the saying, work hard, play hard, but employees at San Francisco startup Zenefits are being told. I think the headline might be that the party's over, at least the belts are tightening at a lot of these offices. Tonight, we're learning last June, company execs called workers out. No more sex in the stairwells. The Wall Street Journal reported employees were leaving behind used condoms, cigarettes, and cups of beer. Bloomberg tech writer Ellen Hewitt. For a long time, these companies were trying to build an environment where you could sort of work and play at the same time, and, and maybe in some cases it got out of hand. Just take a look at these images on social media. It's definitely something that is pretty memorable, and I think people will remember this as one of the images of kind of this, this tech boom. We got a copy of David Sachs' first email as CEO to employees here at Zenefit headquarters. It said our culture and tone are inappropriate for a highly regulated company. Just last week, Sachs sent out another email telling employees no more drinking at work. Zenefits isn't the only startup buttoning up. Ellen says we're seeing increased pressure from investors on startups, telling them grow up or we won't pay up. Show me how you're going to be making money a year from now, two years from now. But don't expect startup culture to go corporate. Ellen says free lunches, happy hours, and ping pong tables will still stick around. I think a lot of that is driven by the need to get the kind of talent that companies feel that they have to have. On the night beat, I'm Kate Kogirin. Reps from Zenefits aren't commenting on the new allegations, but did say it is time to embrace a new corporate culture.